Once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, intrusion ball ladies, you are now tuned in to the Prince of Investing with your host, Prince Dice, coming all the way live from the beautiful state of Denver, Colorado, via Hawaii, Think Tech Hawaii. But as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button, and hit that bell icon to get notifications of new videos as they drop, and drop comments below if you got some questions. But as always, I don't have a lot of time. And I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. Man, oh man, oh man. How is everybody happy this week? We've seen the news. We've seen the headlines. So for the people out there that don't know what the topic is going to be about, you can see the description box. This is about the bull market, right? A bull market is a market that goes up, right? And a bear market is a market that goes down. Well, man, oh man, this, this week here, we crushed all types of highs. Dow Jones hits an all-time high. S&P 500 hits an all-time high. So great time for the people out there who are uh, index fund buyers or some people who are um, uh, index fund buyers or some blue chip stocks. The stock market is roaring right now, right? Even Bitcoin has made a comeback, right? So we have all these great things going on in the market. And you are someone who's probably been sitting on the sideline of investing. You're someone who had been thinking about investing. So now you have to always ask yourself when you are investing or you was thought about investing, now that you are investing or thinking about investing, you're now being more attracted to the market. You're thinking like, man, I got to get in on this. Because when do most people buy? When the market is up or down? When the market is up? So in this video or this podcast, or how have you catching this content? We're going to talk about three ways to profit in a bull market. And are we in the bull market? Of course, all time highs across the board. So now, the first one, I'm gonna throw in another one too for all my listeners. Don't throw in another, I'm gonna throw in number four too. But number one, number one way to profit from a bull market, ride the bull. <laughs> right? What does that mean, ride the bull? For prime example, a big wave is coming. You're, you know, you're swimming in the water, a big wave is coming. And you see this big wave is coming. You just jump on the wave and ride it into the shore, right? You ride the bull. You go with the flow. For prime example, Prince, how can I go with the flow? For starters, one thing you can do is get an index fund, right? You can get an index fund. And you can say, hey, I can track the S&P 500, a no cost, a, no, a commission-free ETF fund. You can just say, hey, I want to ride the bull on out. So that's one way you can just ride it. Inside of that, I'm going to give you, that's A, that's 1A. 1B, another way you can ride a bull market is with leverage bullish ETFs. Prince, what is that? That is taking the market's bull and placing it on steroids. This is not the first time you probably heard me talk about this. How can you do that? You have a stock sum about a SPXL, that's Sierra Papa X-Ray Lima. That is a leverage bullish uh, S&P 500 index. So if the market goes up one point, it goes up three points. Now, the downside of that is when the market goes down, it's really going to go down. But that's the way you can just ride the bull in a bull market, riding leverage ETFs, leverage bullish ETFs on the S&P 500. Or you can be more conservative and just get a no-cost index fund with the um, – SWPPX, right? That's a no cost, uh, pretty low expense ratio ETF fund. Riding the bull. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to try to be a smart person or anything. I'm going to ride the bull and collect dividends. So the thing about the S&P 500 is it's way more conservative. It pays dividends and that even when the market takes a downturn, which it will, it will still be profitable. So that's one, that's, um, that's one way. I gave you an A and a B inside of that. Ways to ride the bull. That's one. Now, before I get into number two, I want to segue a little bit and kind of get into some of the media people or something that, something I hear people talk about. They're walking around. Oh, the market is going to crash. The market is going to crash. When is the market going to crash? The market going to crash. And when the market crashes, they're going to be like, oh, look, I told you. I told you the market's going to crash. But it's like saying, oh, wow, it's been a bright, sunny day for the last uh for the last whole week, I've had a bright sunny day for the people that are not living in Hawaii. That's not normal. But in Hawaii, that's very normal because I lived there myself for a couple of years. And I do miss it sometimes when you just had the same weather. 
But everywhere else, like let's take Denver, Colorado, right? When it's a bright sunny day all week, and then someone says, man, it's going to rain. When is it going to rain? When is it going to rain? Of course it's going to rain. That's how I look at the market. When I look at the market, I put up a questionnaire and said, hey, when do you guys think the market is going to crash? Is it going to crash in 2019, 2020, uh, 21, 22, or 23? And I think 100 and something people voted, and I think about 48 about close to half of the people said 2020. They think the market is going to crash next year. I'm saying this is that, yes, we know it's going to crash. So, but I'm not in the business of trying to time the market, you know. But uh, we're going to, but I kind of say that to say people that go out and say, oh, yeah, the market's going to crash, it's going to crash. It's like, oh, yes, we know that's going to happen. And I'm going to collect dividends when the market crash and buy more. So the next thing you can do, right, for my people out there, to, to uh, lead into number two. The number two thing you can do to profit or uh, to profit from a bull for my contrary traders, right, is buy shorts, right? You can short the market, right? And we can short the market by doing bearish ETFs on the S&P 500. Stock symbol, Sierra, Papa, X-ray Sierra, right? As the market goes up, this particular fund loses money, right? But when the market goes down, this particular fund earns money. So for prime example, right now, I think SPXS is trading for about 16 to 17 bucks. During the, if I'm, if I'm correct on this, uh, during the market crash of 2008, our latest market crash, that thing was worth like 10, 11, 12, 13,000 dollars because we were in the dumps. It bottomed out at that price in March of 2009. That's when the market bottomed. At the bottom of the market, that thing was going for about 13,000 dollars. And since then, the market has been on an uproar for the last decade, and now it has gone down to 17, 15, 16, 17 dollars, right? So for a contrary trader or someone who's planning on a market decline and things like that, they could purchase S&P 500 leveraged bearish ETFs, hold on to them. If the markets continue to go up, it's going to lose money. And they could collect dividends. And when the market collapses, you know, or when the next market collapses, that is something to hedge their fund to where they can take advantage. Now, Prince, how is that... How can I profit in a bear market? It's saying, hey, when the market is up and roaring and things like that, you can take advantage and get some low, 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 low cost S&P 500 bearish ETFs. I did the exact opposite come December. If you recall, in December, the market went down into um, um, a bearish market. We went down 20% from the high. And since we were down 20% from the high, it was right at Christmas time. I jumped in and purchased some uh, S&P 500 index funds. I purchased some leverage ETF funds. And um, next thing you know, I thought the market was going to keep going down, but it turned around and it's been roaring for me. And those investments turn around, I want to say today from Christmas to now, I want to say about 30% on the 30% uh, uh, on the S&P 500 I earned and 90% on the uh bullish ETF fund, SPXL. Not too bad, right? But the thing why I invest into them com uh, comfortably is because I'm a long-term investor and I know over time the market will return. So it may go down tomorrow, it may crash in December, but over time I know it'll be back. So I'm always very aggressive on betting on the upside because the market has proven over 100 years that, hey, we will have more good times than bad. So the next thing you can do. So number one, we discussed about the index funds and the bearish leverage ETFs. I mean, bullish leverage ETFs. Number two, you can short the market by purchasing leverage ETFs, right? Bearish leverage ETFs on the opposite side. Number three, one of the things that people like to do, they like to take advantage of the market, is they like to purchase things that go down when the market is going up, right? So for prime example, in the S&P 500, somebody might like to buy a put contract. 
As we know, a call is on the bear side, a put is on the um, the call is on the bull side, the put is on the bear side. For a prime example, a person may be interested in an SPY uh, ETF. They might buy some puts on it, right? They could get some cheap puts on it, or since the market is continuing to roar, they could buy a call, a call option to say, hey, you know what? I can buy a two, three hundred dollar call, naked call, and to be able to profit from the roaring uh bull market so as the market continues to go up they buy calls on the s p 500 they buy calls on the dow they may buy calls on the nasdaq to take advantage of the upward trend of the market right very very risky business because if the market takes a, a oopsie like it did last month during trade wars and depending on the date of your contract it could expire worthless or it could end up losing money so it's all about kind of timing something i stay away from but I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to give you uh, options. And that's it, right? Education through options. So you can have, you can purchase call options on the S&P 500 index fund Dow Jones. I'm trying to stop talking with my hands for the people who can see me. But uh, that's one way. Now, we spoke about the three ways. I'm going to throw in an extra one for you. You ready for it? The extra one is being a contradiction, not a contradiction, but a a bit on the opposite of the market. I don't have time to try to think of the word right now. But a bit on the opposite of the market. I know I said it earlier. And what that is, is for a prime example, looking at things that lose value when the market goes up, but gains value when the market goes down. What is something that always loses value when the market is up? Commodities. Things like gold. Things like precious metals. Silver. You will see those things lose value in an up market. Prince, why? Because why am I going to sit here with gold when equities stock market is doing so well? So they lose value. But guess what? What goes up must come down, right? And what's down at the bottom will eventually come up. So for prime example, what people can do is to say, hey, look at these precious metals. Look at these commodities or whatever the case may be. I can purchase these commodities, right? Wow, gold is, you know, is down. Silver is down because the market is up. Someone can purchase these knowing that the market will crash again. When the market collapses again, I won't say collapse, when it has a downturn, we move in cycles. When the market collapses, when the market goes down, guess what? Um, when the market goes down, those prices or those things are going to go up. Gold is going to go up. Silver is going to go up. Because when the market is going down, it just doesn't just go down overnight or anything like that. Uh, well, it does shoot down pretty fast. It takes the stairs up with the elevator down. But what's going to happen with people, people are going to become very, the media is going to be so negative. It's going to be some type of financial crisis going on. They're going to be like, oh, Congress is saying this. Wall Street is saying this. Banks are saying this. People, foreclosures, blah, blah, blah. You know, people are losing jobs, layoffs. All these things are going to go off. You might lose your job. If you're a business owner, you may lose a contract. You may hit a hard situation. I may hit a hard situation. And people lose faith in the economy over time for the short term or whatever the case may be. We might be in a war. Who knows what may be going on around the world. But the news is going to be very, very bad. And people are going to pull away from stocks. And they're going to run into something that's more, uh, more sustainable or something where they're not losing money. And most of the time, that's in cash. They're going to keep their money in cash. Or they're going to go to commodities like gold, right? So if things going to go up. What else is going to – who works in that kind of space as well? Bonds. Long-term bonds. When the market is down, uh, when the market is down, why do I want to sit here and hold a bond earning 3% dividends every year when I can go get some of the equity? Right now, the market is up 18 to 20%. So far this year, here we are in July, 18 to 20 percent. I'm sitting over here with a bond making three percent. No, I'm going to run the equities, right? But when man, oh man, oh man, what goes up must come down. When that market comes down, bonds are going to go up. So something to kind of give you guys something on GLD, GLD, Gulf of Lima Delta is a gold ETF type deal. When gold prices goes up, this thing goes up. When gold prices go down, it goes down. So that's one way you could uh, take advantage of the, the low prices during the bull market. While the market is up, take advantage of the low prices on things like gold. Another thing is like bonds. Bonds, they earn dividends, 
right? Long-term corporate ETF bonds, non-commission. I know one of ILTO, I think it is. Don't quote me on that one, I'm not sure. India, Lima, Lima Tango, Oscar, commission-free, long-term uh, corporate, no, not corporate bond, but U.S. government bond pays about 3 to 4%, right? Um, since the market is roaring, uh, you know, the value of them can, kind of falls off or they don't fall fast. They just are not as valuable, but they earn 3%, right? These things, I believe, could be a steal, things that you could kind of grab to hedge your portfolio. Let me hold some some of this when the market goes down this is going up so i can sell some of this you can come a little tactical right those are ways you're taking advantage of the bull market right so let's go back over it the first way you could ride the bull with the s p 500 no cost index fund i mean no commission index fund right or you could be a little bit more aggressive and go with a leverage etf fund SWP XPXL. That's been a little bit more aggressive, right? Number two, we said we can, um, you could buy call options, right? You can buy call options on the S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ. Hey, this bad boy is running. I'm going to buy some call options. Call options are very risky. You're going to make a little bit more money, but they're very risky due to the nature of options. Now you're buying the options. Let's say the market took a downturn. Because think about it, with the first option, option one, if the market took a downturn, you're at least collecting dividends and you can hold it back until the market comes back. But number two, with a call option, guess what can happen to a call option? It's going to expire. It's a contract. So it makes it a little risky. But that's the option to take advantage of a bull market. Number three, you can go out you could buy inverse things like gold you got gold you got gold over there and you got bonds right you got gold bonds taking advantage of the gold and bonds and things like that as the market is going um going up i think that was i think that was actually the bonus one number four was you know buying put options and being backwards on the market as well like you know taking advantage of those bearish etfs i think i just got my numbers mixed up a little bit but all of it is good information. I don't remember the exact steps on which one, but all of it is good information where you could buy bearish ETFs, uh, S&P 500, which is Sierra, Papa, Esco, Echo. No, it's Sierra, Papa, X-Ray, Sierra for my military type. But it's SPXS. That's something that you can potentially buy because it's very dirt cheap. I won't say dirt cheap, but the price will drop significantly like it's supposed to. But when the next market crash happens, it will probably go up. So those are about four or five options I probably gave in this particular uh, episode on ways to profit from it. But I'm going to get out of here. That's going to conclude today's topic. That's going to conclude. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, share button. Subscribe right here on Think Tech Hawaii. Subscribe right here on the Prince of Investing. Check out some of the great uh, work we're doing around the country and around the globe. Until the next video, podcast, cartoon, book, I think that's it, right? show <laughs> that you see me do around the world or anything else crazy you see me do around the world. Peace, be safe, I'm out, and thank you.